Oh, Ben, I see that you seem to be running yourself ragged. Um, just beware, if you're running on less than four hours of sleep every day, um, you're going to crash and burn in more ways than you'll want to know. Uh, your immune system is going to stop fighting <laughs> or reduce its fighting against any invasions. And unfortunately, you'll succumb to a cold or anything else that's going around the area in Valencia. Um, plus, it makes it hard on uh, on one's personality that you become irritable um, and you just don't feel like yourself. You feel as if you're semi-detached floating next to you. As for uh, nightmares and dreams, uh, well, nightmares anyways, for your friend with uh, sleep deprivation, there's lots of information available on the web. Um, but it does take some time to actually get into it. It depends on what that person is doing, too, in regards to sleep deprivation. Uh, what job are they having? Is it impacting their general stress? Is it something that's job-related or personal-related? Is it something that's related just to the, uh, the area that they live in? Um, what activities do they do prior to going to bed? What drinks or foods do they eat? Um, unfortunately, nightmares and dreams have the same commonality when it comes to it. It's your subconscious. Your body could be trying to tell you something if you're having issues with your health. Um, it could be something from the subconscious that's actually trying to bubble up in, uh, in dream format, nightmare format. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's not an easy answer, and unless there's more information available, I can't really give you any answers. But if, you're, if you want to get in touch with me, you can send me a private message. Um, I think I sent you a friend request a long time ago after subscribing. You're more than welcome to send me any, any questions that you have. Um, as for um, Dom uh, Domingo Sunday, well, I think Maria was very happy that for her it's Domingo. For you, you have to get up to work. Um, I'm trying to think of all the things that I wanted to touch base. The question about uh, how much say should a significant other have in um, one's appearance when you're in a relationship? Uh, it depends on the person that you're with, but it also depends on how affable you are to that person's request. Um, I was married, okay, but... And it's not because of that that I went the, that I went my separate way and she went her separate way. It was a decision that we both took um, because we were incapable of living together without having a fight every day. Um, but in regards to your clothing, your your way of dressing up, well, socks with holes in it, that's going to be something that you'll hear about often. Um, underwear, boxers, briefs, um, also something that's going to be um, checked and verified by your significant other. Uh, it's not as if they're the police. It's just that they take pride in being beautiful and presentable for you. Uh, well, she does anyways, Maria. Um, I think she's trying to tell you oh so gently that you should be doing the same effort. Um, but trust me, it's going to be well worth it. After you, you've done that, you become her knight in shining armor instead of her, her knight in rusted tin. Um, that's it. Uh, and I, I can't say anything wrong with your family. I mean, you've got a younger brother. Um, your mom and dad seem uh, love, like loving people. Your mom seems to be an energetic woman. Your dad seems to be energetic when he feels up to it uh, but I mean yes uh, there's none there's no reason why they should be attacking you but don't let those comments get you down man um, so anyways I will let you go and I hope you have a nice one see you Ben hasta luego Maria